Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing your bi-weekly this November 16th to the 30th um, soulmate connection. If you've watched this, watch the first part. It's already been uploaded. Okay, so let's see what's going on for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising. Here we go. Missing a different deck, so I have to look up. <laughs> you have here the Hangman. Okay, this is when you're trying to gain the perspective out of the situation removing yourself from whatever it is first so that you can make the right decision you know remember this is um you know uh, odin uh how do you call it uh, nine days they got the answer this you know flip over blood rushes in their head and then well i hope you're not your blood is not rushing to your head okay to get the answer that you wanted okay so you have to remove yourself right now in the situation that you're in uh something is bothering me in front of me um uh, sorry, I got distracted. Um, you have to remove yourself in the situation that you're in so that you get clarity out of it, okay? And this is the pom no moment of pause. No talking, nothing, you know? Because you're going, you're not going within, you're removing yourself from within, okay? Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know how it got inside. You have your Queen of Cups, okay? This energy is love. You're, that's what you're going to find out, okay? This is just bothering me. Um, the Queen of Cups energy over here is you're gonna realize that one you can be falling in love with a water sign or this water sign is in love with you nurturing selfless that's a, that's a mother energy from you know Queen of Cups so someone can be doing self-sacrifice also and remember look at the hangman it is sacrificing itself so you're probably doing some heroic act by removing the person um, from the connection uh, yourself from the connection it's taking you a lot of energy also all right and let's see here you have here the knight of cups okay both vibration are here meaning there when i see you know court cards that are in distant meaning one is younger yes or one is trying to get to the next level one is trying to i'm sorry i'm really just getting annoyed um one is really trying to get to the level of um you know where you're at in your life so emotional wise they're trying to be there for you in that whatever you're trying to be um connected with they're trying to get there okay trying though trying okay <laughs> okay if i see how to say it and you have here the ten of cups they're trying to give you the emotional bliss that you have asked for or you're looking for okay and this is also you being able to see okay that's weird. If I can have a magic just to vanish a fly, I would have done it already. It's annoying me. <laughs> so, um, the Ten of Cups over here is that you are, when you remove yourself from the situation, you realize how much you love this person, how you feel towards them. It's very blissful though, and this is the happy family card. This is the moment where you realize that like, you guys are meant to be with each other, you know. <laughs> so, it's very good. It's a water sign. Okay. Um, you guys are going to be cuddling on the beach and enjoying each other's time. This is what you're realizing too. Very good energy. Um, King of Pentacles, can, they can have Earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, they have Earth and Water in their chart, meaning they are very emotional and very stable with their emotions. So when they express themselves, they're very true. You can't shake them up. You can't shake them their emotion. If So if they want something, they really mean it. They don't go... Um, you don't need to guess with this person that you're connecting with no guessing but i think you were the one trying to figure it out first the hangman okay let me see underneath the uh the knight of cups also the knight of cups is someone who's a charmer okay you're gonna get mesmerized by this person's charisma and not their intensity they're very charismatic smooth suave that's them underneath the knight of cups wow is this the king of cups I've never seen this. I have used this deck for so long. Well, not so long really. But I've never seen it come out. The King of Cups over here. Both King and Queen. And when I see this, it's a match. Remember, now we all have the Knight, the King, and the Queen. And remember, I just told you, they're matching your vibration. They're getting there. They're not just trying. They're making it happen. Very good energy. You can. There can be also same sex over here because you have King and uh, King and Queen. Uh, both here, the water and the earth kings, okay? So, stability-wise, is very, very good. This is, you know, king of cups, ten of cups, queen of cups. Love is in the air for you, Aquarian. Like, this is mad love, okay? <laughs> 
But I don't know why you're doing some deep thoughts though, because you're trying to analyze it if it's really love, if it's really stable, if it's something that you want to share with someone. You know, this is what's going on inside your head from what I'm sensing. I'm not sure why, but we're gonna find out in an extended reading. If that's you, I'm gonna look for the other person's thoughts. Thank you very much, Aquarian. Enjoy the rest of your two weeks. Have a wonderful, wonderful end of November. Bye.